The advisor for law and order justice and land revenue T.N. Manan has called for unity of the people. He said unity is important for progress and he was speaking during the installation of the 23rd Impur Assembly Constituency Treasury Office of the National Democratic Progressive Party, which was conducted at Gobulong in Mokokchung on March 2. In his keynote address, Manan asserted that the biggest challenge for the 23rd Impur Assembly Constituency is unity because of the disunity and fighting has led to the community losing the race in terms of advancement, whether big or small, he said. The bond of unity is very important to progress, he, Manan also said, and he has urged the people to unity and from this time onwards to do away with the hatred created by politics. Impur has the opportunity this time to be from to be from the ruling party for which he urged the people to take advantage and bring in development needed by the people. The advisor challenged the party's workers to pull up their socks and discharge their duties to help the party's candidate with a thumping victory. Well, as you all know, Impo constituency is a very sensitive constituency because one of the reasons is that it's a Christian centre. And then uh, we are the PGB partners, even though, as we all understand, that religions and uh, mundane kind of activities are two different things. People misunderstand all these things. So they think that the uh, joining PGB as a partner is a sort of a, uh, uh, it's, it's rather is an anti-Christian, which is, I don't think is really correct. Now the church leaders are also beginning to understand that these two should not be mixed up. So I, I'm quite hopeful that the uh, coming election will be, I think, the uh, results will be perhaps as good as, or if not better, than the Assembly Constituency result. That's what I feel. So well, what we have started today, as you all know, it is a challenge. Unfortunately, or unfortunately, as I said, that the, in the house of a new treasury, now we're putting a new beginning. So hopefully, I think uh, we'll have a new, better beginning. It's, uh, it is always a political utterances. I don't know, because the, even PGB is claiming that they are very secular, because the important thing is that Indian constitution is very clear. But the secular is not religion. Even though, like for instance, in Nagaland, all the ministers, all the ministers are mostly Christian. So we all go to church, as we all know, and then in all the Christian um, sort of activities, and also the uh, uh, what do you call it uh, celebrations, we all very happily participate. Similarly, most of the Indians, as you all know, are all Hindus, so they participate in all the religious activities of the Hindu. So therefore, people should not misunderstand that because the intercity participate in the religious activity that doesn't mean that they are foregoing the Indian constitution, which is absolutely secular. Unless the constitution is amended, changing all that, I don't think uh, they believe in that. So even Mr. Modi, our Prime Minister, has very clearly mentioned that if there's any persecution in the name of religion, because in the minority, to let him know, so that at least he will take a, a appropriate measures to counter all that. So I believe in that. So it is also our responsibility to report if there is such uh, uh, persecution or any discrimination against any religious uh, minorities. That's what I believe. For the first time in Nagaland, 60 MLA has uh, 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 has um, uh, swear that they should support the PT candidates. So hopefully, all the 60 Emily means they represent the entire Nagaland state. So therefore, definitely we hope to have a thumping majority. That is, I think uh, you should also agree with me that we'll have a thumping majority. 